A lot of people ask, what is to be an entrepreneur, you know? And, and I came out with these three letters. Instead of being a VIP, you need to be a VEP. And that means having vision, you know, having an idea, a niche in which you think you're going to contribute to change the world in a way. Many people have good ideas, but you just have to be excellent in the way you implement it. And I think that it's a very difficult journey and there is a lot of obstacles and you're kind of rowing against you know, the current, so to say. So I think that passion um, makes a difference. I mean, you have to believe in what you're doing. I am myself a mother of four kids. Being an entrepreneur and raising a family, uh, it's possible. I do believe the role of women in innovation is, is really important. I really love science in the sense that it really questions everything that is around us and I think that is the source of evolution and innovation in a way, not taking anything for granted. I think that it's going to be the brain age and we are going to start to understand how we think, how we can boost our potential, how we can live longer. I really see that trend happening and how that is going to affect our daily lives in ways we cannot even imagine right now. So my company right now is working in brain monitoring and brain stimulation devices. So we have kind of a wireless cap you put on and, and it can monitor your brain and also inject current into your brain to kind of excite or inhibit your neuron activity. And this has impact in pathologies like post-stroke rehab, uh, pain, depression, and many others. So I'm very intrigued to see how these kind of new technologies also taken home is going to change the way we provide therapy. I think that the telemedicine revolution hasn't even started yet. It's really scary, but it's so exciting because you have the feeling, I mean, it's almost like being an art artist. You're building something that wasn't there before. From my experience, for example, the fact that we thought 10 years ago about that technology and that now I can see doctors treating patients with that idea, it's so powerful.